In this series of videos, I'll be teaching how to write our own GPU-driven RAP deformer using the new API classes available in Maya 2016. Now the question is, why would we want to write our own RAP deformer when Maya ships with one? Well, I've listed here a few of the disadvantages of using Maya's built-in RAP deformer. Uh, one is that we cannot edit the vertex association that RAP deformers use. For example, if we want a portion of a mesh to actually be driven by another portion of a mesh, there's no way to edit that using Maya's built-in wrap deformer. Another disadvantage, uh, in certain cases, performance can be relatively slow uh, depending on uh, your, your typical situation. Uh, we'll learn how to write a wrap deformer that uh, a lot of times is faster and sometimes even twice as fast as Maya's wrap deformer. Another disadvantage includes uh, long file open times. Uh, you may notice when you have uh, one or more wrap deformers on heavy meshes that when you open your scene, uh, Maya takes a while to recalculate some uh, wrap deformer binding information. Uh, so the wrap deformer we'll write won't include those long uh, file open times. Uh, another disadvantage includes that uh, Maya's wrap deformer does not support uh, inverted front of chain correctives. That means if you're familiar with my CV shape inverter command, you may have used it to create corrective shapes when you have a skin cluster or some other linear uh, deformation like clusters or blend shapes. Basically that command lets you write front of chain corrective shapes uh, that will activate before that deformation. Now Maya's wrap deformer does not support uh, using such corrective shapes but the wrap deformer we'll implement in these videos will do that so you'll be able to write uh, you'll be able to create your own corrective shapes using our custom wrap deformer. Uh, another disadvantage is that Maya's wrap deformer does not include any paintable weight map. Uh, it's an easy thing to add, so we'll add that to our, our own custom wrap deformer. And another thing about Maya's wrap deformer is that it requires the base mesh to remain in the scene in order to use it. Uh, the one we'll write uh, will not require that base mesh, so your scenes can be a little lighter. So in this class, we'll begin by going over the math of a possible wrap algorithm. There isn't just one way to write a wrap deformer, so the math that we'll go over in these videos isn't in any paper. It's just uh, a quick and easy way uh, that I found that you can write your own wrap deformer with. Once we've learned the math, we'll go ahead and write our initial wrap deformer prototype. And then once that's working, we'll write our own custom command to interface with that deformer. We'll use it to initialize the deformer, create the deformer, and uh, many other uh, functionality such as adding a component rebinding functionality uh, which I mentioned earlier along with importing and exporting that binding. That's useful once we set up our wrap deformer we can edit it so we make sure that all the parts of the mesh are affecting the correct uh, vertices that we expect. And then once we have all that working we'll go ahead and explore some optimization techniques such as multi-threading uh, using vector intrinsics and after that, we'll use the new functionality in Maya 2016 to evaluate our wrap deformer on the uh, video card using Maya 2016's new MPX GPU deformer. And then finally, we'll learn how to integrate our deformer into Maya standard menus uh, so the artist using it can access it in an intuitive manner just like the rest of the tools inside Maya. So to summarize all the technologies we'll use, we're going to use a few different programming language and libraries such as C++, Python, and unfortunately Mel, because I'm not a big fan of Mel, I much prefer Python. We'll use a little bit of PySide to create a UI. We'll learn about some SIMD vector intrinsics. If you don't know what that is, uh, don't worry about it. We'll go over the, a little bit of that uh, later on. It's just a way to speed up our uh, calculation when it's evaluating on the CPU. And we'll use OpenCL to write our GPU kernel uh, so we can get some really fast speeds once we evaluate on the GPU. So some prerequisites for this class encode basic linear algebra. Uh, if you're not familiar with it at all, I recommend checking out my Applied 3D Math course over on cgcircuit.com. Uh, basically, all the math that I'll use to implement this wrap deformer is all contained in that Applied 3D Math video. I'm not using any really complex math. It's all just the common concepts such as matrices and vectors and bare centric coordinates and all that. Also you should know how to compile a Maya plugin. Uh, if you don't know how you can see my free videos compiling Maya plugins with CMake. 
Those are hosted on CG Circuit and YouTube, so check those out. Uh, I won't be going over how to compile a plugin here because that's already in other videos, so check those out. And also, you'll need Maya 2016 if you want to use the new GPU functionality. Uh, Maya 2016 isn't required if you don't need GPU functionality. You can just use it uh, without that GPU functionality if you just want uh, the features of the Wrap Deformer in earlier versions of Maya. And you should be comfortable with C++ and Python. I'm not going to be teaching how to use those. Uh, you should basically look at other courses to learn how to use those two languages. So if you want to check out the code, the code is actually open source with an MIT license, which means you can basically do whatever the heck you want with it. And it's hosted over on GitHub. There's a link to my GitHub site. And what that means is if you're watching this video before I release the rest of the videos, you don't actually have to purchase the class to get the code. If you want, you can just go to my GitHub site and poke around with it. Uh, basically what these videos will add is going over the code step by step and how to build up that code from scratch. So if you don't want to buy the videos, that's fine. You can just check out the code. Anyways, uh, let's start looking at the rest of the videos and write this wrap deformer.